Today is June 12th, and you're watching a lesson on how to build and backtest a trading strategy using the backtesting module called the Odds Maker in Trade Ideas Pro. Trade Ideas Pro watches the market in real time, tick for tick, and you can not only spot alerts as they happen in real time, but you can backtest those alerts to see if they would have been a good trading strategy. What we're going to do is show you how you can create a good strategy just using the pre-configured strategies that are available in Trade Ideas Pro. To access the pre-configured strategies, you can open up any Trade Ideas Alerts window, like we have right here, right-click, and select Configure. Right away, you are seeing the Strategies tab, and the first folder is the pre-configured strategies folder. If I expand that folder, I can see a whole host of pre-configured strategies that I can start with. There are strategies for upward movement, downward movement, pre and post market, and general market events like breaking news or block trades. The pre-configured strategies window is a great place to start for any beginning trade ideas user because it allows you to get some results quickly and at the same time see how the trade ideas staff configured this window to get the results that you're seeing. In this specific window, the under 20 moving up fast, what I'm going to show you is that we have selected, and I right click on the alert, new highs for two days, then stocks that are up at least 5% for the day at the point when they hit that 5% trigger. Additionally, we have filters to make sure that this window is showing you stocks that are only $20 or less and that have traded at least 100,000 shares or more on average over the last 30 days. You can select exchanges to watch. In this case, I'm going to unselect indices and just watch the New York, the Amex, and the NASDAQ. You can also create custom symbol lists and you can modify the window name once you've changed it. But for now, you can access all of these pre-configured strategies by simply going to the pre-configured strategies folder and selecting any one of them. Now that we have the strategies running, we can see events as they happen in real time. And to check these events on a chart, again, I just double click and I've, linked, I've already linked this window to Quote Tracker, which I'm using as my charting platform. And I can see all these patterns as they happen in real time. On Above here, I see a five-minute chart, and to the left, a daily chart, where I can see the longer-term trend. This is very helpful for traders to analyze the information because, again, it allows them to react more than to search. But now that we see this information coming through in real time, what do we do with it? In this particular case, how do we know if we go long or if we go short? Let's figure out how to use the odds maker to help us make that decision. The way we start is by looking at the bottom of the alert window and going to the back test button. In some of the previous versions, this button says start, but it says the same message, calculate your odds of winning or losing for the strategy in this window. So now I'm going to press the button. This window lets me configure my back testing module without any programming whatsoever. I simply say success, meaning which way am I going long or short. If I'm going up, that means it's a long strategy. If I'm going down, it's a short strategy. By how much? I'm asking the computer to tell me, show me any stocks that have gone up at least a penny in my direction. I can change this. Entry time. You can test the whole day or you can specifically test a certain hour. Maybe this strategy is good for the first hour or the middle of the day or just the end of the day and we'll cover that in future lessons. But for now, you can test the whole day as it's happening. And exit time lets you see how long you want to stay in the trade. Additionally, you can take profits by selecting a stop loss or a profit target. And again, this is more of a money management tool here, but we're going to do that in later lessons. Right now, we're just going to cover the basics of what happens if I get in and hold for 60 minutes. Let's press OK. Now the odds maker is running through all the different scenarios that have happened over the last 15 days. It's complete. I'm going to expand this window so you can see all of the information. Now, 
right away you should know that a strategy that's only 30% successful probably is not a good strategy. So what this tells you is a very important lesson right off the bat, and that is that stocks that look great on a chart where you see this breakout and this breakout right here. In this particular case, the computer, the quantitative models are telling us that they typically don't follow through, at least not in the last 15 days. And you're having a large enough sample where you can see this trend is pretty accurate. Of course, you did have some lo uh, winning days on the 29th and on the 5th, but they were fairly small and out of the 15 days, you only won twice having traded almost, well, having traded basically a hundred times every single day. The key to notice is that the market is efficient. In this particular case, notice that your winners and losers are almost the same. So what this teaches us right away is that long in this particular strategy is not the way to go. How do we make this strategy profitable? Well, sometimes finding something bad can be a diamond in disguise. Maybe there's something good out of it. So let's see what happens when we hit backtest, and instead of going long, we say we're going to go short. Right away you can see that the numbers are starting to look a lot different. Okay, this is pretty interesting because of course the inverse takes place. Now, sure, your average winner and your average loser are the same as they were before, but you now know what direction to go. And instead of having lost 30% of, uh, having won only 30% of the time, now you're winning 61% of the time. So very quickly, we turned a strategy that was horrible and didn't really do anything into something that could be very valuable because we know that 61% of these types of moves do not follow through in a 60 minute time frame. Let's see if this is valid for shorter time frames. We do this simply by changing 60 to 30. And let's see what happens. Now something to keep in mind is that what you're watching is a process called event-based backtesting. This is highly different from things that you may have seen in TradeStation and other products that are similar because out of these stocks, there was 1,400 trades that took place in this 15 days. If you were trying to do this in the traditional stock-based model, you would have had to write approximately 1,400 different scripts to test what just took us minutes to do in the odds maker. So here we go. In 30 minutes, if we only held it for 30 minutes, we're still winning five points less, but we're in the stocks 30 minutes less each time. So perhaps, you know, it's a good risk-reward type of ratio. This is how traders use the odds maker to figure out what to do in the market. You can modify a lot of these settings and you can change things to you know, adjust for your capital and for your time frame and for other risks that may take place. But overall, this is the place to get started and this is your first lesson on how to use the odds maker to create a trading strategy in Trade Ideas Pro.